Well, the park where the Honey Run Covered Bridge resided is making progress to rise again with the first phase of reconstruction of the bridge is now underway. Action News Now reporter Christina Vitale shows us how crews are building the new caretaker's home. It's a collaborative effort. These panels were brought in by the Reconstruction Recovery Advisors as the structural frame for the cottage. This is the first step to us reopening the park is to have the caretaker here, have you know some place for them to live. President of the Honey Run Covered Bridge Association, Robert Catalano, says this project was a long time coming. And I'm just happy that the fruits of our labor in the last year are actually showing up into something that people can see. The cottage will be constructed from a prefabricated housing kit with about 40 panels. They come completely equipped, ready to stand up. And in three to four days, this house is going to be completely in place. Konzelman says the panelized construction process is very green, efficient, and economical. It's safer, it's faster, it can be 24-7 uh, uh, construction. Construction that started with students in the Chico State University Construction Management Program, who are hands-on laying the foundation and floor framing for the cottage. We have a wide range of student skill sets. We have some that have never built anything in their life, and then we have others that grew up, it was in their family business, right? So they've been building stuff since they were little. So they love it. I mean, they're volunteering, so they're not getting paid, and they're doing it out of the goodness of their heart. The cottage is going to be a one-story, two-bedroom home with a living room, kitchen, bathroom, and even a deck overlooking Butte Creek. The project is funded mostly by an $80,000 grant from the Small Business Administration, but the labor is all locally based. So we've had companies that have really jumped at the chance to come out and help for free, so it's been awesome. This is a community project to show that we're resilient and we can rebuild and we won't forget who we were because the bridge will be part of our history and it was and it'll be here again and people will have something to come home to when they do come home. Organizers say they hope to have the cottage fully completed by the end of April. Reporting near Honey Run Road, Christina Vitale, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Catalano told Action News Now the association hopes to have the floor across the new Honey Run covered bridge itself laid down by October of this year.